but I'm Holly and today I'm bringing you my birthday book haul. So this is actually the second part of my spring book haul which is basically the books that I bought in April, May and June and for my birthday I asked for a lot of books so I think I've got 17 books to talk about today. Most of them are ones that I asked for and then I had one maybe that was just like a surprise and also before we get into it one of my main goals for my birthday was to be asking for books from black authors. With everything that's been going on in the world I kind of looked at my reading and realised that I really need to diversify it more and be reading from black authors, from other authors of colour and now I have no excuse. I have a massive stack of books by black authors. There are a few that aren't by black authors but the majority are. There's no order to this video, I'm just going to pick up the books that are in my stack talk about them and without further ado let's just get started. The first book is Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. This is a contemporary that is kind of set in this alternate world where rather than black people being oppressed and made slaves it was the white people who were oppressed and made slaves and this book is set after slavery has been abolished but there is still a lot of injustice and segregation. But there are these kind of liberation movements gaining traction and becoming more violent, more vocal. And this follows a black girl and a white boy and they've been friends since they were very young and it's kind of how their friendship develops into something more and how they become involved in this fight for equality. Especially the boy character, how him and his family kind of get involved in this militant movement for equality. This was recently adapted into a BBC TV adaptation and I really enjoyed the adaptation which is why I picked up the book. Though I will say now that I've read this one that the TV adaptation is quite different from this, like they've aged up the characters and there's lots of things that are different but the basic premise of these two individuals kind of doing this thing that is so against what society believes in that is still kind of the same. I will say if that does sound interesting to you do be aware that this is a very dark book and it covers some really dark topics from alcoholism and underage drinking to terrorism and violence and capital punishment, suicide, all of those trigger warnings are in this so do be aware. I don't really want to say much about my thoughts of the books because obviously I've got a lot to talk about but I did read this and I really enjoyed it so I would highly recommend this one. The second book I have is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin. This is the first in an epic fantasy series set in this world where there are these fifth seasons which are apocalyptic. There can be like volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, tsunamis, all that kind of thing and every time there is a fifth season a lot of people die and at the beginning of this book one of these fifth seasons has just happened but this time it's much worse than it's ever been in the past and this could potentially be the end of the world. There are a couple of perspectives that you're following here but the first one they're introduced to is this woman who's just returned home to find that her husband has murdered her son and she actually has these kind of earth related magical abilities and in this world people with these powers are completely oppressed and seen as evil basically non-human so it's very much about oppression and survival and this is another one that I have already read and I really loved so yeah another one that I think that you should definitely pick up. I also got The Black Flamingo by Dean Atter this is a novel written in verse so it's written in poetry and this follows a boy through his childhood and his early teens and I believe into his early adulthood and it's kind of him exploring gender and sexuality and he gets involved in the drag scene. I've heard amazing things about this book so I'm very excited to get to this. I also have An Unkindness of Ghosts by River Solomon. This is a science fiction set on this ship where the dark-skinned sharecroppers are incredibly oppressed. They're often subject to violence and sexual assault, especially the women, and you're following one of these dark-skinned sharecroppers, Asta, who has kind of become the doctor for the people. And there's hints of rebellion brewing. There isn't too much rebellion in this. I think this is another one that I've read and I was expecting it to be more rebellion heavy but that's only like really at the end. So it's very much more about oppression and discussing colorism, racism, 
all that kind of thing. This is again a book that covers some really difficult topics and has some dark themes so do look up the trigger warnings if you're interested in this but this was another one that I really enjoyed. The fifth book that I received for my birthday was Natives Racing Class in the Ruins of Empire by Akala. This is a non-fiction and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's about race and class and I believe that it's very much focused on Britain. I've watched a lot of interviews of Akala and I really love the insights that he could provide. So I'm very excited to see what he will say in novel format. I definitely want to be reading more non-fiction and I think this is a good place to start. Then I received two books from the same series and they are Assassin's Apprentice and Assassin's Quest by Robin Hobb. These are the first and third book in the Farsia trilogy which is a fantasy trilogy following a boy called Fitz who is the bastard son of the prince. When Fitz is a young boy his grandfather on his mother's side takes him to the keep and says we don't want to look after him anymore, his father needs to take responsibility for him but before Fitz even meets his father his father abdicates his position and Fitz ends up getting raised by the stable master and then he becomes enlisted by the king to become an assassin. I've absolutely loved this series so far. I feel like I've talked about it quite a lot on my channel but I have already read Assassin's Apprentice. I read this initially through a library book so I wanted to get a copy of the book because I love this series so much and then I also have Assassin's Quest which is the third book in this trilogy and I haven't actually read this one yet but I'm very very excited to get to it. Another book written in verse that I received was Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. So again this one is written in poetry and this follows this boy whose brother has been murdered and I believe that the main character is in this elevator and he's going down and when he gets to the bottom he's going to kill the person who killed his brother so it's like a story of revenge and I assume that when he's in this elevator there's a lot of internal conflict, maybe should he do this, is this the right thing to do? This is another book I've heard great things about. All the books in this haul are ones that I've heard great things about and I've just never got around to picking them up. So yes, this is another one that I'm very, very excited to get to. I also received Black Leopard Red Wolf by Marlon James. This is an epic fantasy set in ancient Africa and I believe it follows this man who joins this band of individuals to find this missing boy. I assume that there's a lot more magic in this one. I don't know that much. I don't really want to know that much going into it. I feel like I've heard quite mixed things about this one. I don't think I've ever heard anyone who's finished it and their thoughts. I've heard a few people DNF it as I believe that it covers some really dark topics again. I feel like there might be animal abuse in this, sexual assault, all that kind of thing. So again, be aware of the trigger warnings if that is something that affects you. This one is a chunky one but it's another one that I'm really excited to finally get to. And then another African-centric fantasy is Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. This is the sequel to Children of Blood and Bone, which is a young adult fantasy following a girl called Zaylee, whose mother was killed when the king decided to kill all the magic users. Zaylee ends up stumbling upon this artifact that might be able to bring magic back. There's a runaway princess, there's a prince who's hunting them down. I love to Children of Blood and Bone so I'm very excited to get to the sequel. I am reading this one right now, I'm only a little bit through but I think this could be one that I really love. Another non-fiction I received was Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race by Rennie Edo Lodge. I've seen this everywhere. This is another book about race and I think it's one of the more popular ones. Again, as I said, I want to be reading more non-fiction, especially about race so this is another one that I really want to get to soon. The the next book I received is The Changeling by Victor Laval and this is actually one that I know pretty much nothing about. From the title I assume it might have something to do with changelings which are kind of children that are replaced by like fairy children, is that right? Like they're fairy children. And just having a little quick look at the blurb it seems like this father is going on this like journey to find his wife and his son, I'm not sure. But I love this cover and this is a book that I've heard really good things about. I have read another book by Victor Laval which was The Ballad of Black Tom. That was kind of a reimagining of a HP Lovecraft story. So again, another book that I'm really excited to get to. I also got another book by N.K. Jemison, which was How Long Till Black Future Month. This is a short story collection that I believe is very black centric. I'm especially excited to get to this one because I've loved everything that I've read by N.K. 
Jemison so far. So I've read the fifth season and then the Hundred Thousand Kingdoms. I loved both of them. I don't really read that many short stories, so I'm not sure if the actual format of this is going to be my favourite, but I'm always looking to try new things. And again, I'm very, very excited to get to this. The next book I have is Queenie by Candice Carty Williams. I have absolutely no idea what this is about. The blurb isn't very enlightening. It seems like you're just following this woman called Queenie. It says, meet Queenie, journalist, catastrophist, expressive, aggressive, loved, lonely, enough. I assume that it's a contemporary. I think it looks at love, family, friendship, all that kind of thing. It's not really a genre that I read much of, but I've heard great things about this. It was a Sunday Times bestseller. It was long listed for the Woman's Prize for Fiction. I think it's going to be a really good read. And then I also got The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. This is the third book in the first Mistborn series, which is set in a world where the Dark Lord won. And because of this, life for the majority of people is pretty rough. Rubbish. A lot of people are oppressed and there is kind of revolution brewing. You're following a few characters who are in the revolution and one thing that's really interesting about this world is that the magic system is based on metal. So some people are able to consume different types of metal and get certain abilities and the people who can consume all the types of metal are called Mistborn. I've only read the first book in this series so far but I really really enjoyed that. I was anticipating to read the second one in June but I never got around to it so this will be put off a little bit longer but I'm hoping to continue with this series soon. And then the second to last book I received was Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. This was the one book that I didn't ask for, this was kind of a surprise but I have seen this cover around and I believe that it's set in America and maybe it follows this girl who's family all die and then she kind of looks after herself in the wilderness from a young age. I'm not entirely sure that synopsis could be absolutely rubbish. I see this one popping up a lot on like bestseller lists. Yeah, Sunday Times bestseller. And it is one that has been in kind of my periphery for a while. Like I've seen it, I've been like, oh, interesting. I'm not sure. I haven't heard anyone's thoughts on this. And obviously, again, it's not really a genre that I read much of, but I'm always looking to expand. And I think this will be a good place to start. And then the final book that I received for my birthday is stunning. I found this edition on Amazon and I just love it. I love the cover. This is like a really pretty book and that is The Complete Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. So I don't know how well you're going to be able to see the cover but there is like a raven and then lovely spine and then quoth the raven nevermore on the back and it's kind of like leather effect, is that the right thing? It also has silver edges and it has like a little bookmark, the end pages are like this. It is massive. I got this from my dad. He is a massive fan of Edgar Allan Poe. So I thought it was a perfect gift for him to get me. And I don't anticipate reading this in one go. I think it's a little bit too big. I think this is something that I'm more likely to go in and out of. So I might read a couple poems, a couple short stories here and there, and then slowly work my way through it. I really want to start a collection of really pretty editions of books. I know that the Folio Society, I think that's like a UK company, they do like really like exclusive editions that are absolutely stunning of a lot of different books, classics, new books, and I just want to like start a shelf of just like stunning editions and this is the first one on that shelf. So yeah, that was the last book that I received. And that was my birthday book haul. I hope it hasn't been too long. I've tried to go through them pretty quickly. I'm very, very excited to get to all of these books. Hopefully I can work through them in say the next year until my next birthday. Are there any books on this list that you think I should prioritize? Are there any that you absolutely love? Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and to everyone out there, stay curious. Bye!